Namaste everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is day 7 and final day of our 7 day Yoga for Flexibility Challenge. So congratulations on successfully completing thus far. And if you are new here, it is never too late to start this challenge. So make sure to check out the playlist of this challenge in the description below and get started today. We will conclude our Yoga for Flexibility Challenge with a celebration of our entire body. We will integrate all the muscle groups we have worked on throughout this week into a holistic practice. This day is about embracing the flexibility and mobility we have gained in every muscle group from the hip flexors and inner thighs to the hamstrings and lateral side body, chest, back, shoulders, arms and more. Get ready for a balanced and harmonious full body experience that leaves us feeling incredible. Let's get started. Let's begin by coming on to our force, keeping shoulder width distance between your palms and hip width distance between your knees. Inhale, gently begin to drop your abdomen to lift your chest and chin. Exhaling to curl into your spine, chin to your chest. Inhaling to arch. And deep breath out to curl. One more time, inhale. And exhaling to curl. Inhale, you draw back to neutral spine. And from here, gently press back into child's pose. Starting with spinal undulations here. Inhale, curling into your spine, chin to your chest. Slowly start to roll yourself, wave yourself all the way up. And then as you exhale, arching into your back, slowly press back, child's pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling to wave. And exhale to press back. One more time, inhale. And exhaling back. Inhaling to wave up. And this time bending your elbows towards the back, gently lie down onto your belly. Tenting your fingers in line with your shoulders, bending into your elbows. Inhale, begin to press up in Pujangasan. And as you exhale, slowly turn your gaze to your right toes. Inhaling to center. Exhale, switch sides. Let's do that again. Inhaling to center. Exhale to turn. Inhaling back to center. Exhale to your left. Inhaling to center. And exhale, gently roll down. Tucking your toes under, palms next to your chest. Inhale, you press up onto your fours. And this time drawing your left knee towards the center, you straighten out your right leg. Keep pressing your heel towards the back so you'll feel the stretch in your right calf. Inhale and exhale. One last breath. Inhale, you roll back to center and slowly begin to float your right leg up. Now from here, slowly tap your toes towards the right and exhale to the left. Inhale to right. Exhale to the left. Let's do that again. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale, you roll back to center. And this time as you exhale, you draw your knee to nose. Inhale, you press back, take a deep breath in. Exhaling, knee to nose. 
Inhale back. Exhaling. Inhale to press back and this time you start to bend into your right knee. If you're okay with your balance, lifting your left hand up gently cactus to take it towards the back and grab hold of your ankle. Slowly begin to shoot your heel away from the body and up. Beautiful. Inhale slowly release, taking your hand forward. Exhale release. Now drop your foot down, gently draw your left knee in towards the chest. And turning your left toes towards the side, drop your knee down, inhale, lift your right hand up. Reaching your hand over your head, take a deep breath in here, and then slowly turn your gaze up, opening your chest towards the ceiling. Exhaling to curl. Inhale back. Exhaling to curl. One more. Inhale. And deep breath out. Inhale, slowly coming back to neutral spine. And this time you start to lift up onto your left knee. Turning your right toes towards the back. Gently lean to your right. Parighasan, gate pose. Beautiful. Inhaling to center. Exhale, gently lower your palm down. Slowly begin to float your right leg up, drawing your right knee in towards the chest. You step your right foot forward. Drawing your left leg in. Inhale, lift the twist and you reverse the twist. Focusing on deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, you scoop your right hand under and lifting your hands over your head so that this time your body is facing towards the front. Lift the chest for Chandrasan. And as you exhale, you straighten out your right. Gently bend your left to fold Ardha Hanumanasan. Inhaling, halfway lift, placing your left palm in line with your left shoulder, you tuck your left toes under. Lift the knee to twist your right, inhale and exhale here. Now take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you turn all your toes to your right to gently drop your palm back. Inhale, slowly begin to circle back. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Gently drop your knees down to again come onto your fours. I'll show the other way around. And this time you draw your right knee towards the center. You straighten out your left leg. Keeping your left foot onto your toes, keep pressing your heel towards the back. Feeling that stretch in your calf. Deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, you roll back to center and from here you slowly begin to lift the leg up. Now on your next inhale, you tap your toes towards your left and then gently taking it over, you cross towards the right and left and right and left 
and right. Now inhale, you draw back to center, take a deep breath in. Exhale, you draw your knee to nose. Inhaling to press back. Exhaling, knee to nose. Inhaling to press back one more time. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhaling to press back. And this time begin to bend into your knee. Option to just simply stay here or this time you begin to lift your right hand up and then gently cactusing your hand you take grip of your left ankle to shoot the leg away and up. Then inhale, slowly begin to release. Exhale, you lower your right palm down. Gently drop your left foot towards the mat and draw your right knee in towards the chest. Then slowly turning your toes towards your right, gently drop your knee down. Inhale, left hand lifts. Now taking your hand over your head, Inhale, you open the chest to turn your gaze up. Exhale, gently curl to fold. Inhaling to open. Exhaling to curl. One more, inhale. And exhale to curl. Inhale, slowly coming back to neutral spine, lifting your hand up, gently lean towards the left. Digging deep and breaths and out here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, you roll back to center. This time, placing your right palm down, gently begin to float your left leg. And then slowly drawing your left knee towards the chest, stepping your foot forward, turning your toes in. So we are still in a twist. Inhale, you lift the twist and gently reverse the twist. Taking deep and breaths and out. Then slowly scoop your left hand under to turn your torso towards the front for Chandrasan, crescent moon. Exhaling to half splits, Ardha Hanumanasan. Focusing on deep and breaths and out. next inhale you place your right palm in line with your right shoulder bending into your left knee inhale begin to tuck your right toes under and you twist to your left take a deep breath in here and as you exhale gently turn all your toes towards the left to drop your palm back Inhale, slowly begin to circle. Exhale, you step back in downward facing dog. Taking deep and breaths and out. On your next inhale, begin to lift high up onto your toes. Exhale, gently press in between your hands, drawing your abdomen towards your thighs.
Then slowly begin to tiptoe forward towards your palms. Drawing your big toes together, heels slightly apart. From that, inhale, you lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, slowly begin to fold forward and down. Let's go again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling to fold. Micro bend into your knees, chin to your chest. Curling into your spine slowly, begin to roll yourself up with your head coming up in the end. Inhale, taking your hands over your head. And exhale, hands at your heart center. Taking a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, hands lift over your head. And as you exhale, gently lean to your right, stretching out the left side of your body. Inhale and exhale here. Avoid curling into your spine and work on lifting from your sternum and use the side body to lean towards the side. Then inhaling back to center, exhale to the other side. Taking deep in breaths and out here. And focus on your breaths. Inhale slowly, lifting back to center. Drawing your tailbone down, lift the chest and you lean back. Inhaling to reach up, exhaling to fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine to lift your left leg up. Exhale, gently step back so that your right shin is perpendicular to the mat. Dropping the back knee, turn the sole out. Inhale, Chandrasan Crescent. Exhaling, palms go down. Tuck your toes under, lift the knee to step back in plank. Inhale, you can drop your knees down for round one. Exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale to Pujangasan Cobra. Exhale, Parvatasan Mountain with your feet together. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale, right leg lifts. Slowly begin to bend into your knee, heel to your hip, and gently draw circles. Working on that hip opening here. Inhale, you straighten out the leg. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Gently drop the back knee, turn the sole out, inhaling to crescent. And this time, slowly release your right palm towards the side and gently draw your left hand towards the right, leaning to the right side. So you'll feel this stretch in the entire left side or the left line of the body. Then inhaling back to center, exhale, Artha Hanumanasan, half splits. On your 
on your next inhale begin to rebend into your right knee tucking your left toes under this time inhale high lunge anjaneyasan Now what happens in Anjaneyasan is we often tend to dump the weight in so instead use the side body to keep lifting yourself up As you exhale you place your palms down and you go standing on your right leg lengthen the spine so this is different from standing splits over here you want to work on lifting the chest as well as lifting your leg up then slowly drop your left foot to meet the right inhale to lengthen exhaling to fold inhale circling your hands over your head and this time you grab hold of your left wrist with your right palm taking your left leg around gently lean to your right focusing on deep and breaths and out inhaling to center exhale switch sides inhale to center draw your tailbone down lift the chest cactus in your hands lean back inhale to lift exhaling to fold inhale to lengthen your spine and this time you lift your right leg up keep lifting the chest if you're unable to reach you always have the option of using blocks under your palms or thick books taking a deep inhale here exhale gently step back so that this time your left shin is perpendicular to the mat you drop the back knee down the sole out inhale crescent exhaling palms down gently tuck your toes under lift the knee to step back inhale knees down exhale chest and chin inhale to cobra hold here for three breaths and exhale parvatasan mountain pose with your feet together on your next in he left leg lifts gently bending into your knee heel to your hip to draw circles inhale you straighten out the leg exhale gently step the foot in between your palms drop the back knee turn the sole out inhale to crescent and this time you lower your left hand down gently drawing your right hand towards the left inhaling back to center exhale half splits focusing on deep and breaths and out inhale slowly begin to lift up this time bending into your left you tuck your right toes under inhale anjaneyasan high lunge
again avoid sinking into your torso work on lengthening from the side body and imagine someone's pulling you from the top from the tip of your fingers so work on lengthening up while you continue to draw your tailbone down towards the mat Take a deep breath in. Exhale, gently lower your palms down. And inhale, you go standing on your left. Work on lengthening your spine, lifting the chest. And then slowly drop your right foot to meet the left. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, gently fold forward and down. On your next inhale, circle your hands over your head. Exhale, hands at your heart center. Taking a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, circle your hands over your head. Exhale in a flat back, gently fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, you step back in plank. Now you have an option to lower down, knee, chest, chin, or this time you can transfer your weight forward, bending your elbows towards the back, you lower halfway and slowly lie down onto your belly. Now, taking your palms in line with your waist, feet together, inhale, begin to lift your extremities up. Keep drawing your shoulder blades in towards each other, shoulders away from the ears and work on lifting the chest. Two, and slowly lower down. Now for the next one, we are going into Dhanurasan bow pose. So this time you bend into your knees, taking your hands behind to grab hold of your ankles and inhale, begin to lift everything up so your body balances onto your belly. And slowly lower. Taking your hands by the side, you tuck your toes under, gently press up and back down dog. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, slowly step your right foot forward. From here, inhale, you rise up in Anjaneyasan high lunge. Digging deep in breaths and out. And this time you cactus your hands, right hand goes on top, left hand under, so you cross your elbows to go into eagle arms. And if this is not in your practice, you can take from elbow to your palm to lift. But avoid sinking into your lower spine. So don't turn your weight into your lower spine. Zip the frontal line to go low. Now take a deep breath in. Slowly open your body towards the side so that your right toes are turned forward. Your left foot is parallel to the back side of the mat. Inhale, open your arms wide. And this time, taking your right hand on top, left hand under, you clasp your fingers to gently lean back, reverse warrior. Inhale, 
inhaling back to center. Release your hands, exhale, extended side angle. Either you can place your palm simply down or go in for half bind, or you can go for full bind. Then inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, skandhasan towards your left leg, squat. Deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Feel free to sit on a block if you are unable to. Sit low or place your left heel towards the mat. Now you have the option to stay here or this time you hold your left ankle with your right palm. Inhale, left hand lifts. Exhale, drop the hip to slowly lean towards your right. Then inhaling back to center, exhale back into Skandasan. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Now slowly drop your hip down again. This time you drop your left knee in to come into Triyanga Mukhaikapada Paschimottanasan. So the idea is to keep your sits bones onto the mat, but if you are unable to use a rolled blanket or perhaps a block and sit on a block so that you're able to properly place your sits bones and square them. Then inhale, you lift your hands over your head and as you exhale, gently fold forward. Now, if you're unable to fold, you can always use a strap or maybe a napkin. Taking it around your foot, you can gently begin to fold. What you don't want to do is hold onto it really tight and put unnecessary pressure onto your shoulders or your arms. From there, inhale, you begin to lift. Now, this time you walk your palms forward so that you're bending your right knee your left leg is stretched out take a deep breath in and this time you can walk your right foot slightly towards the outsides moving into lizard pose option one you can stay up onto your palms option two you could go down onto your elbows Inhale and exhale here. Then inhale, slowly begin to walk yourself up. Walking your right foot towards the center, you tuck your toes under, gently press back downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. And then gently step your left foot forward. Inhale to rise up in Anjaneyasan. Focusing on your breaths. And this time you cactus your hand, left hand goes up, right hand goes under and slowly interlace. Deep breathing here, inhale and exhale. Now slowly open your body towards the side so that your left toes are turned towards the front, your right foot is parallel to the back side of the mat. Inhale and exhale here.
then inhale you release your hands and this time taking your left hand on top right hand under you clasp your fingers then take a deep breath in and slowly lean back reverse Inhaling back to warrior two, exhale, extended side angle. Inhaling back to warrior two, exhale, skandhasan towards the back. Digging deep and breaths and out. Now again, you have the option to simply stay here, or this time you hold on to your right ankle with your left palm. Inhale, right hand lifts. Exhale slowly, lean towards the side. Inhaling slowly lifting back to center and from here you drop your hip down to draw your right knee in for Triyanga Mukha Gupada Paschimottanasan. So inhaling hands lift, exhale to fold. Focusing on deep and breaths and out. Beautiful. Inhale, begin to lift up. And as you exhale, you place your hands down and then walk your hands forward so that your left knee is bent, right leg is stretched out. Now from here, you walk your palms in, foot out, option to stay up onto your palms or you could lower down onto your elbows. Focusing on your breaths, inhale and exhale here. Inhale, slowly begin to walk up, walking your foot in, exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Now slowly start to walk your hands towards the back. Grabbing hold of your big toes, inhale, you lengthen your spine. Now if you're unable to reach, you can either hold onto your ankle or you can place your palms onto your shins. If that's still difficult and if you need a bit of support, you can always place your palms onto the blocks by the side of your feet. Whichever option you choose, inhale, you lengthen. And as you exhale, drawing your elbows out, you fold. Then inhaling, slowly lengthen your spine. Exhale, you start to walk your hands forward into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. And then slowly drop your knees down towards the mat. Lifting onto your knees to come into Ushtrasan, camel pose. So if you notice a bit of discomfort in your knees, feel free to roll the sides of the mat or you could use 
thin folded blanket or napkins and place it under your knee for a bit of cushioning. What you don't want to do is open your knees wider than your hips because that can lead to knee dislocation which you absolutely do not want. It puts a lot of pressure onto the knees. So make sure your knees are in line with your hips. From there, take a deep breath in, option to place your palms onto your lower back or you could place your palms onto your heels. Inhale to lift and slowly lower. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up. Exhale, gently settle down. Curling into your spine, slowly fold forward. Taking deep in breaths and out. Inhale, you walk your hands forward, lifting up onto your forearms, exhale, downward facing dog. We are again going in for a back bend, but a different kind. So take a deep breath in to lift high up onto your toes and then step hop jump through to come to seated and then gently lie down onto your back. We'll be going into wheel pose, chakrasan. However, if you feel that that's not in your practice yet or it's still difficult, you always have the option of going into bridge pose. So I'll quickly demonstrate. Bending into your knees, keeping hip width distance between your feet, hands by the side of your body for bridge. And if you're going in for bridge, you lift your hip up and interlock your fingers under. And if you're going for wheel, you'll take your palms by the side and from there, inhale, lift your torso up. Keep actively pressing away from the mat. Inhale and exhale. And slowly lower down. Walking your feet towards the outer edges of the mat, you can cactus your hands to stay there. And slowly dropping your knees from side to side. And now hugging your knees towards the chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your forehead towards your knees. Now from here, while you continue to do so, slowly begin to swing back and forth three times. And then after third count, you step back in plank to gently lower down knee, chest, chin or low plank. Inhaling to Cobra up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. And from there slowly again cross your legs to come into a seat. This time you open your feet wide, I'll just put my microphone back. Moving into Konasan, opening your legs wide, take a deep breath in. Exhale, walking your hands forward and down. Inhale, slowly begin to walk back. Gently draw your legs in towards each other to shake them. We'll be going into seated twist. So this time, 
Keeping your left leg straight, right knee bent. Inhale, you lift, the, lift your left hand up. Exhale, twist your right. Inhaling to center, exhale to release. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side. Inhale, right hand lifts, exhale, twist. Inhaling to turn your gaze forward, exhaling to release. Inhale, hands lift, exhale, gently fold. And then slowly begin to roll yourself up. Gently lie down onto your back for Shavasana. We won't be in Shavasana for too long today. However, if you wish to, you always have the option of pause the video and lie in here a little longer. Digging deep and breaths and out. Wiggling your shoulders away from the ears to release any tension in your neck, your shoulders. Similarly, in your lower body, allowing your legs to fall on either side with your heels in, toes turned out, and letting go of that control within you. Consciously scanning through your body, all the way from your toes, towards the crown of the head and guiding every single part to relax itself completely. Stay here a little longer or slowly begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Drawing your feet together, hands over your head to stretch out your extremities, taking a deep breath in and deep breath out. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly turning onto your right side. Gently make your way up onto the mat.
in any seated position so that your spine is upright, shoulders roll back, chest forward, palms at the heart center. Slowly take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Drawing your palms to your forehead, take a deep inhale. Exhaling, bow forward. Inhale, slowly begin to lift yourself up. And once you're ready, slowly blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. And I hope you have enjoyed this seven day journey into flexibility and mobility. I would genuinely love to hear your feedback, your experience, your comments in the section below. And if you've enjoyed this practice, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the notification bell so that whenever I'm coming up with challenges like these or new practices, you're always notified. Thank you.